Singapore. Okay, unbelievable weapon. Absolutely. Singapore boys, we absolutely love it. Come on, up the tag. Let's do it for the Singapore. So our Tampere's Hub is obviously a very unique stadium. Obviously they got a shopping mall and then they got a football stadium within the shopping mall. It has a capacity of 5,000 people. And right now I'm even on the running track as you can see. I think our jogging track up on the fifth floor, which is actually quite a unique sort of setup. Let's just say it's a very modern take on a football stadium slash shopping mall and whatnot. Uh, they even can, you can technically even watch the game from anywhere throughout the shopping mall. You don't even actually have to be in the stadium. Uh, obviously, for me, I'm going to be watching it in the stadium because you know I want to get the full match experience and whatnot. And you can even watch it from the National Library just opposite uh, on the second floor as well. You get a nice view of the pitch and whatnot. So yeah. So obviously the match is about to start, but let me talk a little bit more about the stadium. Like I said, pretty much this is the home of Tampanese Rovers and I'm going to talk a little bit more about Tampanese Rovers right now. Tampanese Rovers aka the Stags was founded in 1945. So that's about over 75 years ago. During their time since the initiation of the S League or the Professional League in Singapore, they have been one of the most successful clubs in and about. Winning four Singapore Cups, five SPL or S League trophies and five community shields as well. They've had the likes of many Singapore legends like Alexander Durich, Faruddin Mustafik, Noor Alam Shah, even Shalan Sulaiman really. And so Tampanese Rovers has been the first SPL team that I started watching when I moved back to Singapore back in 2019. Under the management of their current head coach Gavin Lee who is the SPL's youngest ever head coach who started the job back in 2018 as an assistant coach and then moved up to become the head coach in 2019. They play a very attractive brand of attacking football with a lot of emphasis on movement of the ball and possession based style and whatnot. You know, having a lot of similar football principles to the likes of Johan Cruyff and in the modern era Pep Guardiola. Under his tutelage he's definitely brought a lot of a lot more success to the club ever since they last won the league title back in 2013. Um, in his first year as head coach, they ended up winning the Singapore Cup and also finishing second in the league in that year. So it's been quite a relatively successful stint so far. While also winning the Community Shield in 2020. This season in particular, they've had probably a very, I would say a very, very close title charge up until the end against Albrecht's Negata. I think watching this brand of football and the type of way that they play, I feel like as a player is definitely something that has definitely piqued my interest. I feel like me, the way that I play, not definitely fitting that style system would be very suitable for me. And of course today is a top of the table clash between Tampanese Rovers and Lion City Sailors. So let me talk a little bit more about that. Lion City Sailors aka the Sailors was previously known as Home United back between 1997 to 2019. On 14 of February 2020, billionaire Forrest Lee purchased a 100% stake in the club, privatizing it for the first time in the club's history. Obviously with the influx in cash and investments, they were able to make a multi-million state-of-the-art facility in Mata. Uh, it only opened up, I would say, maybe a start of the year and whatnot, a few months ago. 
while also being able to attract a lot more bigger talents. Signing many big foreign players with the likes of Diego Lopez being the standout. He signed from a Portuguese first division side, Rio Ave Football Club, for 1.8 million. Joe Henrique, Bailey Wright, the recent one from Sunderland, and even a player with Champions League experience, Maxime Lestien. Obviously, on top of that, they have plenty of national team level sort of players, the likes of Haris Harun. Lainotan and in particular Shawa Anwar, the one that intrigues me the most. So the name Shawa Anwar may sound a little bit familiar to a few of you. Obviously if you watch local football you have heard of him, but in the recent preseason friendly that Tottenham Hotspur played against Lion City Sailors, he scored the goal. Forward, Lestien, two up in support. Maxime Lestien looks for Shawa Anwar! Considered as one of the best attackers in the league currently, not that long ago, back in 2014, he was playing in back then what was known as the National Football League. So he played in the back then what was known as the National Football League One, aka as in today's standard, Singapore Football League One. So that's obviously in the division above that I played in. I played in SFL Two when I was representing Barcelona United. RC in the 2022 season. So back then he played for NFL one side Keppel Monaco FC where he really pretty much impressed and caught the attention of current head coach of Geelong International, No Ali. In that time he earned his contract, a six-month contract with Geelong International's Prime League team aka their reserve side. Not long after that six-month contract he done well enough in the reserve team to earn his first full professional contract about $1,800 per month for the season in which he quickly became a key player for their side scoring four goals and getting six assists in 29 appearances for the club eventually earning his first international call-up and his first international cap coming on against Hong Kong in the 79th minute and not long after, in his second international cap for the country, he ended up scoring his first international goal for the Singapore national team against Afghanistan. So obviously, I find his story in particular to me very, very inspiring because it's kind of similar to a player like me. Going from, to see someone go from the National Football League, aka the SFL League, to the national team in two years very much makes my goals of doing that reality. Someone in that sort of position going from amateur slash semi-professional football to the national team in two years. It's very, very much achievable. And that is why I personally will be embarking on my journey to Alicante City FC. You know, to go over to Spain, get some exposure, become a better player. In order to bridge the gap to making my goal of going from amateur footballer to national team in two years so yeah thank you for watching the video if you enjoyed it please like comment subscribe do comment and share it with your friends but yeah let's enjoy the game now
everybody believes in you. You've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win. I'll be with us. Take that.